Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monster Gems Monster Review video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the monster, The Boys. So this is based off of a YouTuber. Um, so you guys know that one meme, uh, don't touch me there. Oh no, don't touch me there. Something like that. Or no, no, don't touch me there. Uh, so yeah, apparently it's a monster now <laughs> in Monster Legends. It's called The Boys. It's a nature corrupted mythic monster guys it's a nature controller with stun and damage reduction skills so i get to um have like an exclusive first look uh the game went ahead and give it so huge thanks to social point for sponsoring today's video for giving me all the resources that's needed to review this monster for you guys that baby version actually looks kind of adorable i've got to say but then he looks pretty scary on his final form take a look at this <laughs> what the heck all right oh it's just a bunch of minions all right cool interesting that's pretty interesting uh so i hope you guys are excited for today's video if you are drop a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on all right so his ultimate name is no no brush deals very heavy nature damage while enemies removes shields and applies mega stun to all enemies that's actually not that bad pretty good ultimate uh let's take a look at the evolving traits so you have ardent at rank zero not bad Immune to poison at rank 1? That could have been better. Status caster area damage reduction at rank 3. <sighs> Alright, uh, it could have been better. These two could have been better, but the hardens actually kind of good. Alright, so I'm going to get it to level 100. There is the level up animation. Uh, but anyways, so now that we got it to level 100, take a look at the stats. You have about 8,360 strength. You don't have to worry about the strength because it's not an attacker. Uh, but life, you have 89,876. I've got to say strength in life looks pretty good to me. Speed, 6,369. All right, this monster is the fastest. It is tied with the uh, two fastest monsters um, in the game. So yeah, one of the fastest corrupted deniers in a game apparently let's take a look at the uh skills here so you have juicy reality so that's an aoe moderate nature damage and you apply stun so it's an aoe stun skill interesting let's see what else we have eddie vr shots okay you guys know eddie vr right deals very heavy nature damage to one enemy applies total damage reduction to one enemy okay and then you have green strike which is a heavy physical damage to one enemy applies stun twice so in case if the first one misses second one will land uh, we have Molly's Hideout. Deals moderate nature damage to all enemies, applies bleed and major, uh, major damage reduction. Interesting. So you're applying a torture, you're also applying a major damage reduction, so monster deals 50% less damage. You have Josh Jobs Accuracy, which is a precision and evasion to itself. If you want a self-support skill, you can go with that. Um, let's see what else we have, though. Your narrator's voice. This is an AoE low nature damage. You apply damage reduction, not total damage reduction. Or 50% damage reduction, it's a 25%. You have Green Gang, which is a low nature damage to all enemies, applies bleed to all enemies. This is a spammable skill as long as you have the 30 stamina. Then you have Green Swing, which is a moderate physical damage to one enemy, applies stun to one enemy. This skill is spammable, you don't need any stamina, you don't need any cooldowns. So if you get hit with the cooldown activation, you're fine. So you can continue spamming that skill over and over again. Now, you can go with that skill if you'd like to. I'm running two. AoE skills, these two, and then two single targets. I think I'm going to stick with these two, though. Even though, here's the thing. This requires zero stamina, two-turn cooldown. It's basically like this, right? Green swing, green strike. They're basically the same thing. It's just that green strike is a heavy physical damage, and this one's a moderate physical damage. But it, this one right here has a two-turn cooldown. This one has zero. So it's really up to you. Whichever one you want to go with. You can go ahead and go with whichever one. So once again, these are the four best skills in my opinion. But if you want to go with, for example, the green swing over one of them, especially the green strike, then you can. It's really up to you. But for the rings you want to give in full speed, you want to go with full speed, okay? Um, and then for the relics, you have staff and you have a mask. Interesting. So that's actually not that bad. I actually like this. I actually like this. Now... You can go with Equilaria staff, you can do Masher staff, you can do Cane of Atlantis if you want to go with that, go ahead and do so. Uh, Punzi staff, that's really up to you. I'm going to go with Masher staff, alright? Um, but there are many options. And then for the mask, you can go with Watts' mask since this monster can be denied easily, alright? I mean, the only thing that's really protecting him 
is that hardened trait. You know, so this monster can't be denied easily, unfortunately. So you can go with Watts' Mask here if you'd like to do that. So go ahead and do so. You can also do Eeltron's Mask if you have that. You can do Jazzy's Mask. And Talonate's Mask would be last. So whichever one you want to go with, go ahead and do so. Um, but I think what I'll do is maybe go with Watts' Mask. Okay, it doesn't just remove points of stamina. It also will heal you. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, these two, uh, and then for the obscure talent, the only thing you want to go with would be the spelling fist. Alright, so I got it to level 130. Let me show you guys the stats. You get about 8,876 speed, and then you can just check out the rest of the stats. And that is with the, without the runes. But this right here is with the runes combined. So you get about 17,930 uh, speed. All right. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, pairing it up with this team right here. I'm going to be attacking or battling my. Um, Alt account, okay? So let's go ahead and fight here, and I'm going to showcase this monster in this battle for you guys, okay? So, take a look at this. Alright, so Linworm takes in the first turn. Uh, Linworm, I guess you could just do Greater Times Curse here, just like that. Curl Track takes in the next turn. Uh, let's go with the Blazing... No, no, no. Let's do the Blinding Grenade. Alright, let's do Blinding Grenade. There we go. And so... Um, the reason why my cruel is faster than the boys, all right, is because it's a 150 cruel. That's a 130. But later on, throughout this video, I'm gonna be ranking it up to 150, and then that way, um, it won't be that fast, or it won't be that slow. So I'm gonna go with my AOE stun here, all right. So I basically stun every single one of them. If they're not immune to stun, that's great. If they are immune to stun, then that kind of sucks. You could go with the team, uh, total damage reduction in that case then. Uh, but if it's a denier, then that's probably going to be a problem. Um, but if they have like uh, stun immunity as like a status caster, or it, they have immune to control as a status caster, you could just go ahead and hit them with the any of your skills and the Spilling Festival kick in and remove the positive status effects. So I'm just going to go on and hit you guys with that there. Okay. There we go. And so, uh, Hardy's anticipation kicked in, so that really just messed him up there. But let me go ahead and give the boys a turn. And you you guys see the mattress uh, staff that I give in. Uh, that staff is helping out. It just went ahead and gave me some stamina. So it was recently stunned, so I can't stun you again. But I can hit you with the Molly's hideout, because this will deal some damage. And also, the bleeding will kick in. And so all those three tortures will end up eliminating the monster. Plus, the spilling fist kick then. And so the monster is definitely dead. And so it's going to come back. And here, we can just finish it off. But let me see what other skills we've got here. So see, Master Staff kicked in again, giving me stamina that I need. Um, here, I could just hit you with a total damage addition. So basically, the Maelstrom won't be able to deal any damage. But watch out from um, anything else that they do. Like, for example, if they try to deny you, it will land. It's not like it's a total blind skill or something like that. You know what I mean? All right, so let's go ahead and speed this up. And we just got it to level 150. This is rank 5 max level that you can get this monster to, of course. Um, and so I'm going to show you guys the stats at 150, okay? So you get about 11,008 speed. It's an insane amount of speed. Uh, but overall, you get about 22,237 speed. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to do it same exact team. But this time, uh, my the boys monster will take in the first turn. Uh, instead of Cruel taking in the first turn. Because now it's at 150. And yeah. So take a look at it. Monster took in the first turn. All right. And here, I could go with any skill. So, for example, if I wanted to do total damage reduction, I could do that. Uh, but let's go ahead and save that. Let's just go with Molly's Hideout because remember, I'm running the Spilling Fist so that Mega Taunt will go off. So, bye bye, Mega Taunt, thanks to the Spilling Fist. So, I highly recommend giving the Spilling Fist. Now, I know the Relic just kicked in Wangsu's Shield and it basically removed full stamina, but remember, you have Master Staff that's going to help you out uh, regain that uh, later on. So now it's my attacker's turn. Let me see. I'll just go with something like this. Kind of light, you know, nothing nothing too bad. And so it's your turn now. Uh, you can just go ahead and do Puncher the Shark King or something. All right. And I'm going to charge up on my Cruel. And then I'm going to show you guys something else, okay? So I'm going to charge up on Cruel. And I'm also going to charge up on these two monsters right here. Because I want to showcase the other skill that I haven't actually showcased yet. Well, I did, but like it was on the wrong monster. So normally you want to use the total damage reduction on the attacker. So in this case, it is Hardy that I need to use this to. So total damage reduction, bam. 
GICT, the enemy has total damage reduction. All right. Now here's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and charge up. Charge up here. Uh, the boys, you can do something. Let me see. You have green strike. But remember, that's what requires zero stamina. So if I had no stamina, I could have just used this. And it's a spamble as long as you have the... I mean, never mind. It's not really spamble because of the two turn cooldown. I was mistaken about the other skill. Master Staff just kicked in and dealt some damage. Now here's the thing. Remember, I have total damage reduction. So whatever skill that I use, it'll deal zero damage. Watch this. Zero damage. It's because of that total damage reduction that I applied um, with uh, the boys. So he died. He came back. I'm going to go ahead and use my AoE skill. And then we win this battle. Just like that. I think Shelly's going to come back though. Yeah, Shelly came back. Okay. Uh, let me just go on and charge up. Shelly, you can just go ahead and uh, let's go with deeper bird. Okay. All right, my Shelly came back. Unfortunately, I have no stamina. Um, now, see if you want to use the other strike skill instead of the green strike, you can go with that. In this case, it would have came in handy because um, remember it requires zero stamina. But this one, uh, this one's a two-turn cooldown actually. So unfortunately, I had to wait. So, just because of that cooldown, kind of messed me up. But we got some stamina now. Let's go ahead and stun Shelly. The stun actually missed. Alright, let's just go and eliminate Shelly then. Stop playing around. Alright guys, remember what I mentioned earlier? Uh, you gotta watch out from heavy fire attackers like Minos. Uh, you also gotta watch out from Cosmics as well. I mean, Minos is just corrupted, but any, almost any uh, fire attackers. So in this case, I wanted to go with my 150 Kai here. Alright. So, once again, I could go with any of my skills here, and basically the Spilling Fist will kick in and get rid of the Mega Taunt. We gotta do that in order to start attacking the other two, right? And so take a look at this. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the Mega Taunt here. So that'll leave the boys vulnerable, okay? That monster, it'll leave the boys monster vulnerable. So here, I could use, for example, any of my fire skills right now. Literally, any of my fire skills. Even my AoE skill, look at this. That's my AoE skill. It literally obliterates him. He's dead. And unfortunately, he can't come back because he doesn't have a Ascent slot. So you got to watch out from like heavy fire hitters, like for example, him or any other monster, uh, especially corrupted ones and cosmic ones. You got to watch out from them. They hit pretty heavy. Oh, you can actually get rid of that Kaidi Sun Melter right now. <laughs> you can get rid of any of them. Uh, if I use Blind Grenade, I will be able to eliminate them all. But you guys get the point though, right? So you have to watch out from those monsters, especially Minos. Unfortunately, I don't have Minos on my alt account uh, or else I would have used Minos. Uh, Minos would have probably had a chance there. And the reason why, uh, you know, um, this monster is hitting so heavy is because of the triple strength that I'm running. Because I wanted the uh, the, Kai, the Sun Melter, Kaidi Sun Melter, to go in next. I can't even talk anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let me just go ahead and go with like Age Overseer here. Alright. And we're just going to go ahead and give an extra turn here. So I should be able to eliminate this monster easily. Bam. Get rid of him. 300k damage. Okay. Just like that. Uh, but yeah, guys. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's Monster Legends Monster Review on the Monster of the Boys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. But uh, yeah, he has a pretty interesting design, I've got to say. <laughs> um, so that's going to be pretty much it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.